Okay, so the first stretching video is going to be uh, based around the uh, end of a workout which had heaps of push ups and heaps of pull ups in it. Something like Angie, Barbara, or Cindy. Everyone's just finished a big workout. I'm going to drag them over, sit them down, let them start to cool down and rest and recover. And the first thing we're going to do is lay straight down on our guts. Throw one arm out to the side. And this, this stretches to the front of the shoulder. I'm going to try and push away with the arm that's not stretched out in the direction of that arm that's stretched out. So what I'm looking to do is create a bit of tension through the front of the shoulder, all the, uh, all the muscles I've got there, so chest muscles, shoulder muscles, and part of that upper arm muscles. When I'm stretching, I'm thinking of more than just that sensation of something being stretched. I want to also encourage good position. And I'll often cue thumb up or peel that thumb away from the ground whilst I'm in this stretch. So it's a cool stretch to get this position to add tension. I can stack my hips, so put my uh, left hip on top of my right hip. Continue to be aware of that shoulder position. And if I want to increase the tension, I can take that top leg over further, which will give me even more tension through that stuff. Now whilst I'm here, I'm going to do the hip pull-ups as well. I'll often pivot on the thumb, so now the back of the hand is uh, in contact with the ground and the, uh, the hand is sort of higher than where my head is. And when I roll away from that again, what I find is that when I get that hand really high, we can, we can stretch out through the front of the upper arm, so in that bicep group. And if that's been overused in pull-ups, as sometimes it is, then that's important to get some, some length back into that stuff so it doesn't get short and end up giving someone a junky elbow. All right, so that would obviously be done on both sides. That, that cue, it's important that that cue uh, to peel the thumb off is, is used or, or is aware, you're aware of it. Because sometimes people grab a great stretch, or they think they get a great stretch, and they really collapse this shoulder in and push away real hard, and really they could be just doing themselves a disservice in here. The goal is to stretch out the tight muscles, not to look for a way to get into the position which is, which is achievable or easy. All right, the next one I usually do is to go into this sort of child's pose from yoga, steal that. And the goal here, whenever we're stretching, we're really looking to lengthen a muscle. When we work out, we're shortening muscles over and over again. To lengthen the muscle, we're going to take the, uh, the point where it starts, the origin, and get as far away from the point where it finishes or the insertion. So we're doing that here with the lats. We've got this muscle that starts on the, uh, on the hips and down in that fascia down there. And finishes up on the on the humerus or the upper arm. And I can exacerbate or make the stretch more intense by rolling outwards. And we may have seen variations of this where someone's hanging onto a uh, a stick in an undergrass fashion. That's a good way to go. I can also highlight one lat versus the other by putting my hands all the way over to the left and then shifting my body to the right. And again, if I bias one of those arms over. Can give a little bit more. So that hand change is simply addressing the role of the muscle. So the role of the muscle, it's, a, it's an internal rotator as well as a, a, a um, shoulder extender. So if we do the external rotation piece, it, it allows it to stretch. Remember that stretching is always just the opposite action of what the, uh, the muscle is. I'm going to stretch something that closes the arm, and that stretch is going to involve some opening down. I want to see some, uh, some different stretches from you guys. Thanks.